Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure and turn on post notifications. So Nicki Minaj continues to rack up these plaques. And she also has teased that she could possibly be dropping some more new music. Nicki Minaj's last time I saw you, Pink Friday Girls and Nito have all reached gold status. Congratulations to the queen. And Nicki Minaj also teased that she could be possibly releasing new music. Nicki Minaj responded to a fan who said that they did not want Big Barbie because some fans were still asking for Big Barbie. Um, but they want um, a song that she previewed a few months ago, I believe before um, Pink Friday 2 came out. <laughs> Now, Nikki responded and she said to the fan, how soon do you want it? Okay, with a happy emoji. So it looks like she could be dropping some new singles again. Now, I believe she dropped press play like a week or two ago. Now, in the midst of all of that, some fans, okay, um, are calling out Nicki Minaj. They are saying that the Pink Friday 2 rollout has been underwhelming, okay? Um, a lot of fans are complaining that there's no music videos. There's no Queen Radio platform, okay? You know, she said that, you know, Queen Radio had a new home, but she hasn't announced where the home is. You know, some fans are speculating that the home is on Station Head, okay? Now, to be quite honest... You know, Pink Friday 2, I'm still listening to that album. You know, that album is, to me, one of the best albums of 2023. Um, you know, Let Me Calm Down, R&B, Barbie Dangerous, FTCU, uh, My Life. I'm listening to all those songs, okay? Pink Friday Girls. Um, so the album is a bop. And there's a lot of classics and hits on that album. Did I care for the marketing of the album or do I feel like Republic could have done more? Absolutely. Okay. I definitely think that there could have been more of a push for Pink Friday too. Okay. Definitely think that. Uh, but the album to me is phenomenal. And, you know, Nikki, you know, she could have gotten a top five or a top 10 record. She had put out the music videos, you know. That's the only thing, but the album still, what did I give it? Like an eight or nine out of 10. Um, and I think that Pink Friday 2 definitely will be going down in history as one of the best albums. Now, moving on to Doja Lamar. So Agora Hills is currently pacing for a new peak inside the top 10 on the Paola Hot 100 at number seven. Okay. Um, this has been predicted um, that, you know, Agora Hills could possibly go top five. And fans are also saying that Dolce Cat could possibly get her second number one on Scarlet because the town is dead already went number one. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Now, I cannot lie. Like I said before, I've always said it. Even when I reviewed um, Scarlet, Agora Hills was one of the best records on the album. Okay. Um, Agora Hills to me is a bop. Okay. And I never deny that. Um, but it's just not a hip hop song. It's pop doja. Okay. Um, so the thing is you can't really get credit for being a hip hop or rapper if you're singing in most of your biggest hits. Okay. No shade. Like you don't have a Chung Lee. You don't have a Roman's revenge. No shade to doja cat, but she don't have that. You know, she don't have a monster verse. She has pop hits that go big no shade but agora hills is a bop so to me i would not be upset if it goes number one okay i'm actually shocked that it hasn't went number one um already considering dolja cat's payola package but at the end of the day you know her album didn't even go number one okay it didn't even go number two i think it went top five okay so let me know how you guys feel about that Moving on to Botch and Bitter. It is not looking good for Botch and Bitter and Off the Cheat. Quavo 
but trains um, Criminal B and off the cheat again. He was seen in the club, bopping his head, doing a one-two, reciting Nikki's lyrics to Motorsport. And currently, you know, fans brought this up to me. He doesn't follow Cardi B on social media. I know Criminal B is rolling over the surgery table as we speak. And Section 8 Gang says Quavo has no loyalty. Um, people are saying that he's deriding Nicki Minaj because Nicki Minaj is currently charting and Criminal B is not. Um, I think that Quavo always will choose um, Nicki over Cardi B. He even admitted, you know, in 2022 on Drink Champs. I believe <laughs> Nicki or Cardi B. <laughs> Not me, y'all. <laughs> this is mad. I'm, I'm taking a shot. I'm gonna send this to the shit. Um. Mm. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna say. Uh, I'm gonna say Nikki. Yeah. See, I was gonna say the same thing. Now that's crazy. So you said Nikki. Yeah. So being that y'all agree, that's a shot. They gotta take a shot. No, so I don't understand why people are upset that Quavo um, is listening to Nicki Minaj. He already said Nicki over Botch and Bitter, okay, years ago, okay? Quavo had a thing for Nicki Minaj. They were allegedly secretly dating. He revealed that in Huntual Dreams after, you know, she basically dumped him. And Quavo don't mess with Criminal B because she broke up the Migos. I know Section 8 gang don't want to hear the truth, but the truth of it is that Quavo's never going to fully mess with Cardi B because she is responsible for breaking up the Migos. I don't care what y'all say. Y'all can say there is money issues, blah, 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 suing QC, blah, 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 blah. No, Off the Cheat wanted to be the Beyonce of the group and go solo once he got with Criminal B. Because he tries to use Section 8 gang to buy his music. That's exactly what happened. Now, moving on from that, fans are unfortunately calling Ice Spice out for copying Scratch Off. Okay? She posted a picture in a similar outfit, I guess, Scratch Off has worn, you know, probably a few months ago. Um, a lot of fans... We're saying that, you know, she looked pregnant. She has since denied the pregnancy, but fans are calling her out saying that she basically has a cue scratch off of doing things that she does, aka copying scratch off's outfit. Remember, she tweeted last year that she hate a B word with no identity. That's what Ice Spice tweeted when everybody was saying that, you know, scratch off was copying Ice Spice. Um, but now it looks like Ice Spice is doing the same thing to Scratch Off. Let me know how you guys feel about it. Now, for me, Ice Spice and Scratch Off to me don't have the best fashion game when it comes to female rappers. You know, um, Ice Spice looks good, but the fashion is okay. You know, it's not the best, but she's new in the game. So to me, it really don't matter who copying who. Because to me, both of them really don't dress that great, to be quite honest. Poom poom shorts and poom poom skirts every time you pop out ain't a fashion trend. Hookers and strippers wear those same outfits. So I really don't understand the big deal. But, you know, Ice Spice still looks good. Okay, she's not ugly. But the problem is, is like her outfit choices aren't that great. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really understand why people are saying, Somebody's copying this one. Like, Sexy Red, Erica Banks, Megan Thee Stallion, all of them, to me, they can't really dress that great, in my opinion. When we're talking about fashion, okay, um, they all look good, but when we're talking about fashion, you know, they're not at the same level as, like, a Nicki, a Cardi, a Rihanna, a Beyonce. They're not at that level. Moving on to Meg, the pass around. Um, Cara Delevingne. Um, Meg's old coochie muncher and Meg's current coochie muncher, Renee Rapp, um, have been spotted out with her in New York because she just did SNL. And now everybody is saying that Megan is going back to women. Okay. 
because, you know, she had obviously a breakup with Partisan Fontaine. Um, and as we know, um, she do like women. She was messing around with Kelsey. That was revealed. Um, she kissed Carisha in the mouth. There's pictures online. And so she do like the Punani. So fans are speculating that she could be going back to the Punani side um, after her and Partisan Fontaine have broken up. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Honestly, I just think it's a phase. I think Megan's always going to be sucking on the D. As soon as she gets some new D, she will be right back on the BBC like she usually is. Um, and she will be paying Cara Delevingne and Renee Rapp dust. Okay? Um, that's usually how it goes. You know, this is just a phase that she goes through when, you know, she ain't got a nigga to have sex with. Okay? No shade. So let me know if you guys are here for Cara and Megan popping out together. Um, I think they actually be a cute couple. I don't think it would last, but I think they'd be a cute couple. Moving on to Queen B. Um, so Mama Tina, Queen B's mom, was caught liking a shady post about Janet Jackson. Now, fans were complaining about Janet's ticket prices, saying that Janet's ticket prices should not be as much as Queen B. Because fans feel like Queen Bee has a better stage production when she goes on tour, okay? Which, no shade, you know, Queen Bee puts a lot of money into her productions and stuff like that. And they feel like she's overall a better performer than Janet. But she's also younger than Janet. You know, when Janet was in her prime, you know, Janet was that girl. So, allegedly, Queen Bee's mama liked a post where, you know, fans were saying, well, you know, Janet paved the way for Queen B, And the post that Tina liked that could be, you know, deemed as shady. A fan said, and let's not forget, Queen B gives you a three-hour show. The Renaissance tour was three hours. And Janet, unfortunately, gives you the bare minimum. So that was the comment um, Queen B's mama liked, okay? But it could have been an accident. And Queen Bee's mama did put out a statement saying that she respects Janet and that she accidentally liked the shady tweet. Some fans still don't believe her. Here's the thing. Even though Janet did pave the way for Queen Bee and several other artists, right now, Queen Bee's hotter than her. No shade. It's just what it is. Queen Bee's younger. Queen Bee's hotter. She's doing $500 million per tour. Janet is not doing that currently right now. No shade. Next, we got to discuss Flo Millie because Never Lose Me is looking to reach a new peak inside the Hot 100. She is going to get her first top 20 um, next week. And with SZA on the remake, she will definitely get a top 10. So congratulations to Flo. Um, definitely well-deserved. She's super talented. I'm happy she's getting her shine. So anyway, I got some hot tea on Patreon. Link will be in the description. And have an amazing day.